Hi guys, uh, so Sishri. Uh, so today I'm going to explain about the uh, Perpona tools, PD table checksum and the PD table sync. Okay, uh, so both are the Perpona tools. So once you install the uh, Perpona toolkit, uh, you will get those uh, tools in your server. Okay, so why we? Wh what is the purpose of these two tools? Both are the both the tools are related. Okay. Uh, so if you are running the master slave application uh, like source replica uh, <clears throat> you you need to make sure that your data is consistent right uh, maybe uh, in some uh, frequent replication error you may skip some replication error or uh, uh, some user may manually delete the data in the repli replica node so you in that kind of scenarios uh, you need to verify the that that may happen so you need to verify your data is consistent or not uh, frequently, uh, weekly basis or monthly basis. Otherwise, if you have any bad replication errors and you are uh, you skipped uh, some errors, uh, then you need to. Uh, it is recommended to uh, run the checksum uh, so that you can come to know. Uh, okay, this uh, these are the differences we have between the master and slave. Then you can uh, make the plan to sync the data. Right. So <clears throat> here in this. Uh, process we got two tools one is a pd table checksum that is used to, to identify the data inconsistency between the master and slave source and replica okay uh, so it will uh, how, how it is doing means it will do the uh, checksum it will uh, run the checksum uh, commands in the in the master and it will compare the results and it will get to know all the inconsistent data okay it will identify and <clears throat> The next command is pt table sync. Uh, so the purpose of this tool is uh, once you identify, uh, once you completed your checksum, you need to verify the output. Okay, uh, if you find any differences or errors, then you need to, okay, we have this much of differences. So we need to sync the data uh, between the master and slave. So for that, uh, you, need, you need to use the pt table sync uh, tool for the, uh, for sync the data between master and slave. Okay. So as usual, we have the demo here as well in this video. Oh, the first one is the master slave configuration. I already uh, done this. Uh, we have the source master and slave. And I am going to manually create the data inconsistency between the master and slave. OK, then I am going to find the difference uh, using the uh, tool PT table checksum. Then I, I am going to do the sync. Uh, using the pd table sync uh, tool then finally i am going to verify the command if all are okay now or not okay so this is a demo uh, let let me go to there okay so i have two terminals one is the uh, mysql source and the next one is mysql replica okay uh, actually uh, i had the command under my youtube video uh, to make the differences to identify, easily identify the difference between the master and slave. Uh, I have the recommendation to use the colors. Uh, sorry, I, for, I missed it to apply in this video, but going forward, I will uh, do that, okay. So I already configured the replication. You can check here that IO and SQL both are running. Okay, and uh, that master, I don't have any uh, database. I don't have any data right now. So let me create it. Created on database. Okay, uh, so I created on table. My table name is three. I am inserting the data. Okay, uh, so I inserted three records. Okay. Select star from three. 
fine uh, so now oh, i have three three rows in the uh, table three i am checking on the replica row that's what yeah uh, so i have the all, uh, all three data in the replica node so my replication is run okay now what i am going to do uh, so this one the first uh, first of we did source replica we uh, already completed we just created the replica. the next one is the create inconsistency okay i am going to create the uh, data inconsistency between past and slate i am just going to execute one delete delete from three where id equal to two okay, okay. Uh, i just removed the deleted the record on the replica node directly replica node id equal to two now i have only two data okay two records here one and three but if i check the master i have three records okay one two and three uh, now at the master, I'm going to do the update. Update three set name equal to a where id equal to two. Okay, I just uh, updated the id equal to two from y y y to a a a. Okay, but still I have one two three three data three records there, and my replica node I have only one and three, and I'm checking the replication status. Uh, it is error, okay, because they cannot find record. Uh, if you did not see my last video, just I would recommend to go there because uh, at my last video, I explained why this error is happening right? and how we can analyze the bin-ups and how we pro we can properly uh, fix that uh, by analyzing the binary logs, okay. Uh, so I would recommend to go that video. I explained two errors there, uh, cannot find record and the duplicate error. So for now, what I'm going to do uh, I, I just want to show the demo using the checksum and the sync command. Uh, so in uh, right now, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to skip this error and I'm going to make the replication sync now. Okay. Stop slave. Set global SQL slave. Skip counter equal to one. Start slave. Stop slave. Okay, Lama, now I just skip the error uh, using the counter, skip counter, I skip the error, okay. Uh, so now my replication is resumed. Uh, my replication is running, I want SQL is running. But if I check the data, this is still one and three. I already have one and three, uh, but my master, I mean the source have one, two and three, okay. Uh, so I, 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 I was able to make the replication run, but uh, my data is now not consistent. So comparing your production scenario, you may uh, have frequent errors. I mean, continuously if you are getting some errors and you are skipping the, you can skip the, you, you can skip, that is one of the choice you can skip, but uh, your, and your replication might run, but uh, your data is, in, you need to remember your data is inconsistent, okay. Uh, so whenever you are uh, making the skip in some scenarios, uh, don't, uh, forgot to run the uh, checksum and sync the data. So let me let's go to the checksum. Okay. Uh, so the next one is uh, now I know oh, I because I skipped some error in the replica node. So now I know. Okay, I skipped some events uh, in the replica. So my data might be uh, inconsistent. So I just wanted to uh, make sure uh, by running the checksum. Okay. So. <clears throat> To run the checksum, as I told, I mean, you need to, you have different tools, but I would recommend to use the Perpona toolkit, uh, PD table checksum. Uh, so for that, you need to install the Perpona toolkit. I already installed it. So this is the package. Okay. Uh, so if you, uh, there are so many tools you can see. Uh, these are all are the tools from the Parcona toolkit. Uh, each tool have the purpose. Uh, so going forward, I will uh, do the videos uh, on that. Okay. So far now, <clears throat> we need P 
PT table checksum. Here we have PT table checksum and the PT table sync. Okay. Uh, so I already prepared the command to do the checksum. Uh, here you can see the uh, checksum command. Okay. Uh, so here I am going to run the checksum on my local host. So that is fine. And my MySQL port is 3306. That is fine. Uh, no check in log format. That is fine. And no check replication filters. That is fine. I don't have any replication filters, but that is fine. Uh, <clears throat> replicate. Okay. Uh, so what is the purpose of this uh, option is replicate means uh, it will store the uh, store the results. I mean, it uh, when when you run the checksum, uh, as I told you earlier, it will do the uh, checksum commands. It will run the checksum on the master and it will store the results. Okay. So to store the checksum results, we need one database and uh, one table. So I am going to create one table. This is the database name and this is my. Uh, let's make it checksum. Okay, so this is my database name and this is my table. Okay. Uh, now the recursion method DSL. Okay. Uh, so the recursion method uh, DSL means you 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 can uh, PT table checksum by uh, by itself. It uh, you can let the command to discover your replicas. Okay. Uh, but if you are uh, you can also have the option by using the DSN entries. Uh, you need to create one DSN table and there you need to make the replica entries. I mean, if you, if you have some four to five replicas, but you want to check the only two or three replicas, then you can update only those two replicas entry in the DSN table, then it will automatically discover. Okay, uh, let me show that how to do that. You have the structure here. DSN structure. Uh, this is the Perpona site. Uh, Perpona website uh, for the PT table checksum. Okay. Uh, so here you can find the table structure for your DSN. Uh, so this is the uh, table structure for the DSN. You can get the structure from there. This is master. I am creating one database, checksum queue. I am just creating the DSN table under the checksum underscore queue. Okay. So now I have the DSNS uh, table here. So here I am going to mention the database name as checksum tute and my table table name is DN DSNS. Okay. Now the you need to make the entry in the DSNS. Currently, I just created the table. Uh, it is empty. So I need to we have three columns here. One is the ID and the parent ID and the DSN. Uh, okay, so these are the three columns we have here. The DSN column is very important. Uh, for my setup, I have only one master and one slave. Uh, so I'm just going to make the slave entry here. Uh, for your, in your scenario, you may have some three to four slaves. Uh, for the from that three to four, you can you may, you may have some uh, backup slave. Uh, so you need to ignore the backup slave means you can just ignore your backup slave IP and you can just make the entry for the uh, needed replicas okay so let me make the in entry here insert into so here my replica node ip is this one i'm just adding the entry here okay Yeah, uh, so I just make the entry for the, this is my replica node IP. Okay, so whenever I am running this checksum command, it will read the DSN, the DSN table. Uh, so I, I mentioned the DSN table in the checksum underscore queue and DSNS, then it will read the entry in the DSNS table. Okay, I have only one entry. 
then it will do the, do the uh, the command will be executed for this particular replicas only uh, <clears throat> as i told your backup server may lagging so if you want to ignore your backup server then you can just avoid the backup node entry here whatever uh, the replicas are important then you can uh, make the entries here <clears throat> okay The next one is the max load and threads running then lag anyway but it is fine uh i have mentioned five my replicas are not lagging at the moment i did not giving any load but fine uh maybe it is useful for you uh so here my database name is kirk And you can also specifically uh, mention the table name. Uh, you can mention uh, multiple databases name here. For example, PT table checksum. See, uh, you have the different options like uh, ignore tables. What are the tables you want to ignore? You can also use the regex operation. What are the tables you want to do? <clears throat> okay, you have. Oh, uh, multiple options uh, if if you want to do the checksum for the different databases and if you want to ignore some data uh, some tables then you can use this uh, options okay uh, for for me i have only one table uh, under the third so i just mentioned the databases using the check shoot log shoot error okay uh, here also, I would like to mention the user. Okay, this is the user I already created. Chats. I'm not sure about the password, but let's see. Yeah, fine. So this is this command looks good. Uh, so as I told <clears throat> here, uh, the replicate the checksum underscore cute. Uh, data under the database we have the table checksum underscore t we don't need to create this table manually uh, whenever you are running the checksum uh, this table will be automatically created and the results will be stored here okay uh, and regression method that is one of the thing uh, you need to uh, know <clears throat> here we have the dsns table uh, we copied the table structure from the perpona site okay uh, it has three columns you need to make the replicas in whichever uh, replicas you want to check you need to make the replicas entry there okay <clears throat> maybe uh, you need to check one by one uh, based on your priority that is up to you okay so what are how many uh, replicas you, you want to check you, you need to make the entry in the reasons and i also added users uh, username and password <clears throat> and here I mentioned the databases. Uh, help, I use that. Help. You have the other filters as well based on the tables, and uh, you can also mention multiple databases. You can also ignore the tables. You have multiple options uh, from the checksum. You can use it to make your tool effectively. Okay. Now I'm just copying this command. <clears throat> I'm going to run. Starting checksum. Okay, uh, so it seems my commands are ignored. Once again. Okay. 
Uh, so here uh, have the logs. Yeah. Uh, here you can see checking if all tables can be checksum. Okay. And the starting checksum. Here you can see the I don't have any error. This is the time zone. Uh, and this is the difference. I have only one different. Okay. And totally I have three rows uh, in the table. Here you can see the table helps free. Uh, totally I have three rows. Uh, from the three rows, I have only one different. Okay, different rows also. One, I have only one uh, row different. There is no skips and there is only one check uh, operation. Okay, uh, so now I came to know, okay, uh, I have the difference. Uh, I have only, I have one different uh, in the checksum. Okay, you can also check the tables. See this checksum underscore t table is already automatically created. I'm just rerunning because uh, when I execute first time, uh, the command was not copied properly. So it ignored some options and ran the command. Okay. So I have additional entries in the table uh, to make it clear. So I, I just dropped the table checksum T and I just rerun the command. Okay. Uh, so anyway, uh, we will have the same result only. If you check the uh, tutorial, you can see here only one different. And uh, help underscore help dot three, and we have totally three rows and one only one difference. We have the difference. Okay, now if I uh, I'm now I'm going to check the table. See, uh, so this is the table. Uh, the checksum underscore t we mentioned here in the replicate. Okay, the checksum results will be stored in the uh, checksum underscore t uh, dot checksum underscore t. Here you can get some details like database here, and this is on my table name. I am one chunk, and uh, this count and the master count. Okay, three. Uh, so the total rows count it is three, and this is the uh, checksum hash. Now, if you go to the replica node. I have the same schemas. And if I give the show tables here, here also I have the same table. So let's start from. Okay. So now, if you see here, uh, here also we have the same uh, entries here. But here, if you see the discount, here it is two. Okay, if you check the uh, master node, the discount is three. Okay, and uh, the master count is three. And here also the master count is three. So what it will, uh, <clears throat> what is the discount means uh, from that server? I mean, uh, the master count is the right one. Uh, and discount means you, you may have some T, two replicas or three replicas. So for that, replica how much records you have maybe in the replica one you have the two records means you will have discount two okay uh, in the replica two you have only one record means the discount will be one and the master count will be three okay so in that case in the replica two you have the two data is missing right uh, so this is the one thing uh, you can get the uh, data I mean, uh, how much rows you have in your replica, but how much rows you have in the master, you can compare the result. Uh, in the Perpona site also, we have the query for this. 
uh, if you go to the see here is the query uh, so i already copied that query here so this is a query here i need to replace the table name for me the table name is checksum underscore t dot checksum underscore t okay now i am going to running this command in the replica node okay you need to run this command on the slaves in the replica nodes this is my replica node i am executing this command so here you can see uh, <clears throat> my database is here and my table name is three uh, total rows two uh, and uh, here i have one okay so if you don't have any uh, errors i mean if you don't have any differences then you might have the empty set okay if you have some differences then you will uh, have this okay uh, now the next step find the differences so we find the differences uh, we have only one different uh, now i need to sync the data so for sync the data i i need to use the pt table sync command uh, so pt table sync also i already prepared the command so here is the uh, pt table sync so here the replicate should have the uh, table which we used here checksum underscore cute so because though that table have the uh, checksum output right so we need to mention the uh, checksum the triplicate checksum table here and sync to master uh, then the post need to mention the replication slave post So this is my replica host IP. Okay, database is set. So here you can print and if the comments are good then you can uh, execute okay you can uh, view the comments without executing them manually you can view the comment so before that before running this i would like to show the uh, records select star from three here we have three and select star from three here we have two so we uh, we are just going to sync the data now let me do it so here we, what we are using only we are using the replicate uh, replicate with the replicate option we are using the uh, table uh, the checksum table and we are using the sync to master uh, because we need to sync the data to master and i am using the slave host ip here and my database is here and verbose and i am using the print option so i am not going to sync now but i am just going to view the commands which are the commands are going to execute to sync the uh, source and replica okay i also need to provide the user and password let me get it okay so i'm going to execute this so here you can see uh syncing via uh replication that user and password and this is the post and so here you can see replace into her dot three here you can see the replicate re, uh, replace into her dot three id name values to a a a okay so this is the only record is missing on my replica node 
you can see here id equal to 2 and the name a is not uh, that that data is missing on the replica uh, we have the same id equal to 2 and the a on the source so once i run the checksum and I, I execute i found the difference that that is id equal to 2 that is the only one different we found through the checksum now i am going to run the table sync using the print command it will print the sqls which are going to execute to sync the data between master and slave okay so i just use the print option here and i came to know okay this is the only uh, replace is going to execute uh, to make the data consistent okay uh, so here <clears throat> if you have multiple differences between your master and slave uh, then you need to make sure uh, uh, i mean it may increase your load okay because if you have many differences then many uh, sqls need to run right so may, it may create the load so uh, it is recommended to use the print option and you can review your sqls which are going to execute then if that is okay then you can go with the uh, execute command now i am okay so the i am just going to remove the print i am going to use the execute Okay, I just removed the print here and I just had it execute. Now I am going to fire this command. Okay, uh, I done this. So end of the uh, end of the result, the it will print the summary. You can see there is only one uh, replace statement is executed. If your slave may have additional data to sync it, uh, you may it may it may it may delete the data, right? So. <clears throat> If you have the same record but you the different data means, uh, then it will fire the updates. Okay, so for our scenario, uh, the replace is needed with the only one data. Now I also executed. Now I am going to verify the data again. This is my master one two three, and this is my slave. Now I have the data. Okay, once I run the PD table. PT table sync. Now I have the uh, data. Now my uh, replication and uh, I mean replica and the so, uh, master both are in sync. This is my slave status. This is also running. Okay. So in summary, what we did, uh, we have the master slave replication, asynchronous master slave replication, and manually created the data inconsistency, uh, and uh, uh, we made the replication failure. And we just skip the replication error and make the replication running. But we had the data inconsistency. So we just fixed the data inconsistency using the checksum and the table C. Okay. So this is the process uh, uh, to do this. Uh, but I would give some suggestions if you have uh, a big table, uh, a very uh, hard server like uh, your application, I mean, your database is very hard. Uh, you, you, there are multiple queries in that time. I would not recommend to run the PD table checksum. Maybe that will create uh, some additional load in your uh, database, additional load and uh, logging problems as well. So you need to monitor uh, when you are running the checksum on your production. And uh, also it is recommended to run in the off peak hours, okay. And also before seeing the data, uh, I would recommend to use the hyphen hyphen print option instead of execute then you can review the SQLs. What are the SQLs are going to execute in the <coughs> replicas? So once you're all good, then you can uh, go with the execute option. Okay, uh, so hopefully this is, uh, maybe this is very long video, I'm not sure, uh, but uh, I think this this video is uh, helpful uh, for, for who is learning the Capona toolkit. Uh, maybe if you have some questions or doubts or concerns, please let me know in the video comments or you can directly reach me through the LinkedIn. Uh, if you like this video, oh, please share with your friends as well. And for more MySQL related videos, please subscribe my channel. Okay, thank you.